was really on my trip once. Going up. Going up. 6R. You guys all say 6R? Yeah. Yeah. Going up. Mole mole. <laughs> sure, I've got all the championship banners back here. Yeah, just at the end to the right, past the feet. Cool. So soft, squishy, turf floor. The doors out onto the floor. <laughs> it's the same one we use at home, just a lot bigger. Cool. Hang out on the court, which I think we're actually going to get to shoot around out here in a little bit. We're going to put this here, another training room. Yeah, guys, there's no pictures in okay. here. Out here on the floor. God, this might be the nicest floor I've ever seen. Look how shiny it is. Here. Show us how you do it if you made it on the scene. It's oh, <laughs> so, all right. This is just the practice gym after all. Nice. That bread and butter. No block. Was that your ball that went in? You won knockout.
the pass back machine over here, kind of a neat thing. I'm just trying to find like cool things to film in here because we kind of got the extent of our tour. We got to see a little bit of the media room, the weight room, um, but we were not allowed to film over there in the locker rooms and stuff. Uh, but that's okay, this is still very cool. This is the practice court here. Um, and yeah, like I said, just another kind of cool thing. Or actually, it looks like this is a uh, score counter and a pass back maybe. Some sort of game you can play. Neat contraption, but I also thought it was fun that there's the water and Gatorade fridge right here too. So, definitely a cool spot to come check it out. The Gatorade orange wall with your Gatorade sweat towel right underneath. In case you get some sweat, you gotta mop up. We found the mother load. All the Gatorade plus the stingers. <laughs> The waffles, they're really good. I, I'll, I'll eat those waffles all the time. We're also right next to the team video room. Pretty cool where they watch all their tapes. Here's our view from up above here. Just a really cool place. Uh, come and check it out. Obviously there's a lot of other people here, but that being said, um, relatively few amount of people uh, when you compare it to the amount of people that wish they could come check this place out. Like, I'm sure somewhere out over there, probably you watching this video, you're sitting there on your couch thinking, man, that's amazing. How do I ever come across such an opportunity? Buy a bunch of tickets. <laughs> we were down here at the entrance to the building. Uh, we were kind of running late when we got here, so we rushed in. So I didn't get a shot of this, but those are some original Celtic Stadium seats there. And I'm not sure about the net. Um, could just be a regular old net and somebody's old shoes down there. But uh, pretty cool. That must be some original pieces of floor yeah, as well. But this is 46 Life Street, which is the entrance point for the practice facility. And we're right down here in the heart of the New Balance flagship facility, um, which is just kind of a cool area down here in general it's like I don't, I don't know what to say this is the building here itself which there's no real good perspective right here to show you how cool it looks but it's a very cool looking place just get a load of this building guys we're again still in the new balance zone here um, but just the uh, design on this building um, you don't often see things with so much design and texture. And this is uh, really cool. It's a really cool looking area. And then we got this big uh, building right across from us. And the way it has this big opening underneath it, you can see clear through to the other side. But I don't know, it's just very uh, cool design in this place. All right, we're gonna check out the New Balance store here at the New Balance facility. See if we got anything special. Not too much excitement, but look at this. This is kind of neat. We got now here at New Balance. Worn by anyone. They're really trying to break the trend of this being your grandfather's shoe. It is mine, but it's uh, still a good shoe. A cool store too. The flagship store. Get a load of the New Balance building guys from out here in front. We're out standing by the railroad tracks right now. We're gonna get on the commuter rail, take us back to the T station so we can get back to our car. But this building is here so humongous this new balance building matt is over here examining our map yeah we can actually just go right back to back bay where we were that's sweet so yeah. we're just hopping right on the t yeah and uh the t is for me i guess station 
No. All right, well, we got the magnificent New Balance building behind us. It looks really cool. Look at the way the windows are reflecting the clouds on it, too, in the... I don't, I don't know why I'm so amazed by it, but... Anyway, we're gonna get going and get back on the tee. We might do some more exploring around Boston today, because that tour, um, it was supposed to be about an hour long, and we ended up cutting out after, like, 45 minutes. Um, we could have hung out and shot around more, but we were getting anxious. Um, so yeah, I don't know. A little exploration around Boston. Yeah. See what else we can see today before we head home. But this is the kind of stuff right here. This uh, railroad crossing. If you live around stuff like this, you might just think, oh, railroad crossing, you know, no big deal. But me, this is kind of neat to me. I don't see this stuff every day. So yeah, I uh, think it's kind of cool. Sounds like a train is on its way as well. Matt and I hopped on the T, went back to the station, and when we got to the station, we decided we wanted to get some lunch, and there's a Chick-fil-A nearby. It also happened to be a two-story Chick-fil-A with an elevator inside. That's where we headed next. The video coverage is not the best, so I'm just informing you guys. That way you don't get dropped in there with zero context. Uh, but yeah, it was a pretty cool little Chick-fil-A, so check it out. Elevator. Check it out. They didn't knock you your name right. No, it's okay. Yeah. All right, we're getting in the Chick fil A elevator. Yeah, I would say uh, the second floor is probably all we want to go to. But we've got our Chick fil A here, and we're going up the elevator. I don't know how many other Chick-fil-A's have elevators, but this one does, so. Busy, busy, busy. Too busy to sit. It's a pretty good view from a Chick-fil-A while you're eating. Let's say second story window. Kinda neat. There it is, two-story Chick-fil-A sandwich in there. We're over at the park across the way here, and check this out, got a big old flea market happening here. Just checking it out a little bit. Um, a few good finds. Matt's checking out some vintage hats over here right now. Old hats. Ooh. That's actually kind of a good hat. Ed Clark and Sons. Excavating, hauling, screening, Washburn, Maine. It's uh, kind of a good hat. What do we got another one here? <laughs> and that's a wrap on the day in Boston. We had a good time. We got to see the Celtics practice facility. We got to shoot around on the court, and I'm absolutely whiffing. Not once, not twice, but three times in a row that you'll get to see here. And uh, you probably wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I actually did coach basketball, so... Yeah, uh, pretty sad, but that's okay. Um, that's uh, just a practice facility, you know. Uh, that's what we're there to do, practice, and we'll get better. If I had been on the real floor, if this had been a game, obviously I would have hit the shot every single time. But unfortunately, this is the end of the video. Uh, this is all the footage I have, so thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.